Can I get a ride? Sure, where you heading, pal? Montana. All right, we're in luck. Pretty good mountains on the drive up there. <laughs> oh! Take a bite of that mountain. What all happened today? Well, I just ate a bowl of shiitake mushrooms, and I ate them with a, a new a new spork I got approximately like three days ago. Oh no, they were portobellas, baby portobellas. baby portobellas. Yeah, because they call them baby bellas. Dude, it's definitely going way smoother than I would have thought. All things considered, I think we've just given people enough space and enough been honest and forward about like the whole COVID situation just acknowledge it and like showing mutual respect and keep your distance and people are, people get comfortable. Fly fishing has been my hobby and passion since I was a kid. And uh, to know that there's this giant looming threat that <laughs> could impact most of it, if not all of it, over time. Um, I'm just not okay with it. I mean, I think for a lot of folks who have spent decades on these rivers, the issue of climate change is very personal to them. And a lot of them, you know, who rely on those rivers, guides, outfitters, people who are directly tied to the health of those rivers are seeing these changes and they're concerned. Outdoor recreation is one of the top economic drivers of the state, next to agriculture. Like I said, if we're gonna protect these things out here, uh, a, lot, a lot has to be done. Morning. We met up with Andrew and Grant, who are doing beaver research. Yeah, he showed us analog dams that they made. By building these structures called beaver dam analogs that are basically a bunch of posts slammed into the ground, and then there's slash weaved in between creates a semi-permeable ephemeral dam, a lot like a beaver dam, that still holds back water to kind of recharge the aquifer, keep water in the stream for longer, but also create you know, more volume of habitat for fish. You know, one of the benefits of having beaver is that they can create climate resilience by one, holding water, but also recharging that groundwater aquifer. And once that water enters the ground, it cools down and then can re-enter the stream even colder. So there's a number of benefits there. Do beavers kind of have it going on. They have like a Batman cave, you know, you swim up underneath it and then lay out. That'd be a sick house. Well, what are we doing, man? Well, trying to get a little time lapse of the lightning, and now I'm a little nervous about getting struck by lightning because... Nice little hat, you got the camera there. Out there is super, just this super exposed knob. And then back here is a big ridge side. We retreated to the van so we didn't get struck by lightning. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Do a rapid fire. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> What happened? <laughs> oh, 
What's up, YouTubers? It's your boys, Cody and Nate. Yeah, here with Local Motives. You know, it's that time again. About to give some Patreon shoutouts. Really appreciate all the support. We're going to kick things off with Raul, Max, Matt, Dylan, Lisa, Stephanie, Adrian, and Will. Thank you guys so much for supporting us on Patreon. We're pretty stoked to have you along our trip. We're going to keep the um, special content curated just for you. And it's going to be great. You guys are going to love it. 